Yeah, this was uh, an important bill that passed uh, through the legislature uh, during the last session uh, in the fall. It's really about rebalancing uh, the scales between uh, workers uh, and the workplaces. Um, I've said quite clearly that we're not going back to where we were uh, before the pandemic. Uh, a lot of things have changed uh, for workers uh, out there. So we brought forward uh, the Working for Workers Act, uh, which passed uh, through the legislature uh, in a few weeks. Uh, it uh, 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 gives back premiums, uh, WSIB premiums, to small businesses uh, across the province. Uh, we're cracking down on uh, temp help agencies that uh, break the rules. Uh, we're bringing forward uh, a right to disconnect policy. So any company uh, with more than uh, 25 employees has to have a right to disconnect policy to really you know, prevent those lines from being blurred uh, even more between uh, work time uh, and personal time. And then lastly, uh, banning non-compete clauses in Ontario. Yeah. So uh, did, was this then something you were working on pre-pandemic or did this all arise because you kind of observed what was happening during the pandemic? Well, certainly the pandemic has changed uh, everything for uh, many people across the province and really right around the world. Um, we put forward uh, a committee over the summer to uh, look at some of these issues, a number of uh, worker representatives, uh, employer representatives, uh, labor experts uh, to put forward some uh, recommendations to us. And we acted quite quickly uh, on a number of those. Uh, one uh, item that I didn't mention in the beginning, which is really important, that is giving uh, truck drivers access uh, to washroom facilities. And this is something that uh, was brought to light in the very beginning of the pandemic back in March of 2020, where truck drivers were delivering products to warehouses and factories. And I remember one truck driver reaching out to me and he showed me a photo of a sign that was on the window of this factory. And it said washroom facilities are for team members only. And truck drivers have been unsung heroes through this pandemic. So in the Working for Workers Act, we uh, brought in uh, a law that ensures that washroom facilities are available to these delivery drivers. Yeah, I know it, it really does seem like a good set of common sense changes. Uh, in your mind, uh, is this the first act of further reforms, do you think? Absolutely. I mean, things are changing really on a daily basis. I mean, look where we are today, for example. Um, the workplace continues uh, to change. Um, I made a conscious decision uh, back in June of 2019 when Premier Ford asked me to become uh, the Minister of Labour to really uh, be there for uh, workers and to rebalance uh, those scales. And the pandemic just accelerated uh, a number of changes. Uh, all of these things that we're doing uh, are conservative. Uh, being there for workers, those blue collar workers, um, you know, we share the same values, um, bigger paychecks, uh, more workplace protections and more opportunities uh, in every corner of this province for workers and their families. So when, when do you think you might have another package available of reform? Well, February 22nd is when the legislature uh, is set to resume, and we look forward to, you know, studying the rest of the recommendations that the Future of Work panel uh, put forward, uh, and we'll have more to say in the weeks ahead. Fantastic. Um, obviously, this is part of a, a wider vision, and, and I, I was very interested by the way you framed it in your answer, that this is ba basically, you're trying to make the point that a progressive conservative government can be a pro labor government, a pro worker government. That there's there's no contradic contradiction in that, and uh, therefore that these reforms are are something that help worker safety, help worker worker productivity, and then really help society. So we're going to take a brief break with our guest, uh, the Honorable Monty McNaughton. He's the Ontario Minister of Labor, Training and Skills Development, and we'll get an answer to that question after the break. Stay with us.